Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow with me here. This is actually using the Flux tools, uh, the new fill model, right? So as it was huge, I am using a GGF version. Don't worry, you will have the links for download for the GGF one and this workflow in the description. So uh, you'll get everything. Don't worry about it. This is actually a three-in-one workflow. And what do I mean by that? Here you can see there is a switch. So I'll explain these and I'll, then I'll generate uh, some images to show you guys. So the manual one is pretty straightforward. You open the mask editor and I'll show that that you open the mask editor, you paint and you write what you want to inpaint. So this node is to write what you want to inpaint and uh, it will work. So this is the first one. Now the second one is actually you need to enable the second group. And what it is doing is that you need to write what you want to create the mask of. So if I write dress, it will actually select the dress and create a mask of it. Whatever you write here and change it into this, the in painting. So this node uh, remains the same. Now here, obviously, like uh, what we are doing is that we are taking this mask, growing it a little bit and then sending it here. Now the third one, third one is pretty similar to the second one. The only thing is that we have some normal segmentations which are commonly used that can be top clothes. So you can see I use the top clothes in this one and it selected the dress. It roughly selects the dress, but this is not perfect. So we are using the SAM2 segmentation and it kind of makes the selection perfect and then we are growing it. Uh, then we are growing it and then it goes here and because we have selected the third uh, input it will go it will choose this particular generated mask and according to that it will generate for example you can see I changed it into a green dress satin dress it was done directly by selecting these not making like not painting the mask or not even typing so this is it uh, one thing you should remember when you are not using a particular group, I would uh, always uh, suggest to just uh, disable it because uh, then these models will not load and it will be slightly faster, right? Now, with that being said, I want to give you a demonstration. So let's select the third one. And so this group is activated and you can see top clothes is selected. So for this image, it will select the dress. Now to do something different, I'll make it, let's say blue. So I made it a blue dress and I'll click on Q prompt. So as you can see, it is done and it has been like in painted very beautifully. So even the hair and everything looks perfect like there are no problems the hand you can see everything looks very seamless so this looks beautiful now for another one i'll just also show the manual way and for this i'll select let's say uh, something else i'll select a picture where i will uh, inpaint something uh, out of thin air like i'm not going to change something I'll actually in paint. Let me select a pick. So, okay, let's say this is the pick and I want to paint something here, right? So let's do that. I'll open the mask editor. Here I'll in this portion, I have just painted this much, save to node. And what I'll do is I'll write dog. Let's see a very simple dog and remember the one is selected. Now, as you can see, I forgot to like uh, sw switch off this particular node, right? So it won't uh, like hamper uh, the generation. It's just that uh, it went through this one process and sometimes it can take more time. But other than that, uh, even if you leave all of these enabled, it would not affect the generation.
so here as you can see the dog has been generated actually the pre uh, the mask that i created it was quite like touching the edge so the dog was being generated half there was some kind of issue i just made it a little bit smaller and you can see the prompt is same dog and we have a small dog and you can see the perspective the sizing and everything looks pretty good like uh, according to the distance what should be the size of the dog it is pretty good and you can also see the shadow like uh, you see the shadow of the leg and the body so uh, this looks pretty amazing and it has been like added very seamlessly in this including the shadows right and with that another thing that you can do is that i'll also show one thing now let's clear this and try something like a jacket or something because this uh, okay so remember one thing i think i chose a little bit too much we don't need that much so just select it right save to node one thing is that when uh, you are using the second or the third group it will generally select whatever the clothing or the outfit is so it would just select the skirt or something like that so if you want to create a very like loose or bigger outfit so i would always suggest to move to like the manual step right and with that let's put it here a fluffy pink jacket and let's see so i'll q prompt now as you can see the image has been generated and we wanted a fluffy pink jacket and we have got one this looks pretty good it's pink fluffy what we wanted one thing if you notice very carefully that is you can see like uh, this there some kind of a uh, crop top has been generated underneath it and you can see that like uh, the connect is not there with the uh, pink jacket right so for that purpose you will get uh, these kind of issues sometime because sometimes the in painting would not be that perfect sometimes you would get some other problems one thing that you need to notice is that you can slightly play with the gaussian blur mask so when you are changing the blur mask and if you play with the grow mask a little bit in one or two tries you can get almost a perfect uh, outfit that you want and here you can see that this particular thing has been changed into a pendant a necklace something like that so it is quite good maybe you would need like one or two tries sometimes to get uh, something which is quite complex and other than that try out this workflow and if you have any kind of doubts or questions put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you